Well guys, I've made it to the Mama Land. <laughs> Bowling Green, Kentucky. To the National, to the National Corvette Museum. It's eight o'clock. Well, actually it's five minutes to eight. They're about to open. Okay, it's five to nine and they open at nine. So we're gonna be here right when they <whistles> unlock the doors. But this is it, the National Corvette Museum. Or as I like to call it, the Mama Land. Well, I don't know if it really is, you know, the Mama Land, but you know, Mama Land is where the, well, I guess it is the Mama Land because it's Bowling Green. So Bowling Green, Kentucky. Oh my gosh. We are here at the National Corvette Museum. Look at all the cars. Now, I kind of dig this. You guys know I put my name on a, on a, well, on a C8 at the local dealer for a Z06, which I don't know if we're gonna be able to do or not, but it's nice to see these wheels in person because, <clears throat> you know, when you look on the configurator, you can't really tell exactly what they're like. So, get out of the way. have the best job in the world. You don't like the spoiler? No, I the no spoiler. Oh, no spoiler. I thought you were talking about this one because this one has the carbon, the carbon spoiler. Randy and Gloria Miller. Well, congratulations on your new Z06 Randy and Gloria because it is beautiful. Just beautiful. What do you think of the seats, Andrea? I like those. The red and black? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of the Jake logos though. What about the wing? Well, that's good because that costs extra and you know, you gotta cut costs where you can cut costs. Well, it's a Z06. Yeah. And after having the HTC hardtop convertible, I don't know that I could go back to a non-convertible car the convertible, it's its just a game changer, so. Thank you. started but it started that's why you need one flat plane crank <clears throat> some carbon wheels <clears throat> Those are cool calipers. They're not, they're orange, but not super orange. It's got the same interior as ours. So that would be the natural dipped with Alcantara. Ooh, it's got the red uh, script on the back. I wonder how that would look on a red car. Dumb. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a recovering from a bit of a cold, so a bit of a. That's why my voice is so deep. But anyways, <clears throat> let's take a look at this white one. Um. So this, actually, I kind of like those black tips. People are dumb enough. If we got a white one, they just think it was princess. I know. If I bought a white Z06, nobody would know. <clears throat> well, and these are the glossy wheels. Um, so black are the color wheels that I would choose on a Z06 and red calipers. I don't know if those are red mist calipers or if they're 
if they're all that different color, but I like that factory spoiler. Just the low the low wing spoiler. Oh, poking in someone's car. It's uh it's got the red and black Alcantara. I like that too. And the red stitching. I like the red stitching. I really like that. That's the interior that I want if I do a red one. Oh, whose car is this? Ron Fields. Well, congratulations, Ron. You got a beautiful car here. <clears throat> the thing that I like about the black wheels is when you get brake dust and stuff on them, they, they don't look dirty. Well, these ones might because they're glossy wheels, but even when they get dirty, then they're just not as glossy, but they're still black, so I like that. And it's cool how the Z06 does have a more prominent um, front spoiler. Now this one doesn't have an added spoiler like the one over there that does. So, yeah. So if you come to the Corvette Museum, you can uh, try driving a Corvette on a simulated racetrack. But let's face it, if you're driving a Corvette, every day is a racetrack. <laughs> You know, but only legal posted speed limits and all that good stuff, you know, because I would never condone speeding. No. 1953. <clears throat> How much would you love to have an early Corvette? <clears throat> what? With a straight six in it. Pretty sure they had straight sixes in it. I should know better. That is not the C1 I would choose. No. <clears throat> but it's rare. Yes. That's cool with plate partner. Twenty fifth anniversary, nineteen seventy eight. Yeah, the two-tone silver is nice. There's 2003. Convertible. <coughs> for 2003, which is what mine was, but mine was a Z06, which didn't come in a convertible. But it was made into a convertible. Made into a convertible. I've seen a few of these 50th anniversary cars for sale. I kind of like the the tan or creamy colored top. So what generation is that? C5. That's a four. And this is a C4. This is a 35th anniversary car. With the white wheels. This is the same with the Those are the Camaro-y ones. This is my least favorite. I don't mind. Uh, I've never seen the 35th anniversary cars before. I haven't. I've seen that one. Of course, seen lots of those. But I'm going to have to do some research because maybe the 35th anniversary car is more rare. Show car emblem. That's cool. It's a very nice emblem. Now you know if you read that. <clears throat> so Motorama, they had the the emblem with the actual American flag on it, which they couldn't use in the production cars because of the fact that uh, copyright. You can't just use the American flag on your car. Oh, this one's got the the V for V8. That's why in uh, the Chevrolet on the side yeah. has the the raised That's V. Cool. That is cool. 1955. It's an interesting car. Yeah. I've never seen that before. Now that. Getting 
closer. Still not one I would pick. You wouldn't pick a 62? Not in that color. With the not all one color. Oh, yeah. Four speed. Actually, I think it's a 58. A 58 that I would like because in 62, it's got the the back of the car has the same uh, back end as like a C2. We already have a C2 that's got that back end. So I would like to get one that's got the, you know, the, the fins. Oh, this is an original. The Entombed Corvette. That's very cool. Can't imagine putting the car in a... Entombing it. So yeah, like the sign says, <clears throat> if you read it, um, the car was entombed by a fellow that owned a grocery store and he built a new grocery store, bricked it in, and his wife didn't like riding in the car, which is odd. So anyways, he said they couldn't open the tomb until the year 2000 which he changed it and they pulled it out in 1986 so it was in there from 1959 to uh, 1986 very cool 1965 the big block 396 L78 the big block C2s are worth a few bucks what's yours got uh, 327 small block. That's a 396. <coughs> Excuse me. Photo spot. Tag us. Like, subscribe. <laughs> what year is that one? 1966 Chip Miller. These fuel pumps are hiding this one. It's a 67. I love that hood. 67 was a nice year. I like that yellow. Mm -hmm. It's the EFI. Put the heads on that one. The Arden conversion kit. Introduce their own aluminum overhead valve, hemispherical combustion chamber cylinder heads for the flathead Ford V8 engine, increasing horsepower and efficiency. Well, what the heck's that got to do with the. Zora would. Oh, it's because. Uh, Duntalk Zora did that. And the Rupert Shire being special performance to Corvette. Interesting. Nineteen sixty-nine. L eighty-eight. Nineteen seventy-one. Last of the big block cars. So very cool. These bricks are actually the uh, bricks that came from the um, original Corvette factory. Very cool. Duntoff Zora's racing suit. Very cool. Duntoff Mule. Changed it to a V8. This is very cool. <clears throat> I like the cut down windshield. <laughs> yeah, the head scoop. All the Corvette race cars over the years. Which is very cool. Gran Turismo. That actually looks really cool. I think this is just, you know, uh, 
a representation of the car in the game, Gran Turismo. Oh, there we go. 63 split window. That's just like the holy grail. That's beautiful. <clears throat> just beautiful. Fuel injection. Another racer, 57. And this is the 69 Manta Ray Corvette. This is the second generation of Corvettes, blah, 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 designed. It's a concept. It's a concept car. The concept car that became the C3. Put that back window. It was a bit ugly. You don't like the back end of the Mako Shark? I don't. I want a car one day that has side pipes. Burn your life. <laughs> yeah. You probably only do it once though. Probably. Yeah, that is a little ugly. And then you gotta remember, it was also the 70s. Those headlights. The ZR1. C7 ZR1 has got to be one of the most impressive looking sports cars, performance cars, race cars, if you will. I mean, the most performance in a front engine Corvette there ever was. They're worth a few bucks now. That orange on there just, yeah. See, I think the high wing on the ZR1, it definitely suits it. It's got signal lights on the mirror. I wonder what that's about. Well, I don't know what's in there, but there's the millionth Corvette. Very cool. Very cool. So, of course, the big sinkhole collapse was a big deal. <clears throat> From the Sky Dome, they've got the, um, basically, they tell you all about the cars that um, went in the sinkhole and tell you about caves. Apparently, there's a cave under there. And that's why it's not <laughs> cave simulation. Historical depository of Corvettes. Privately owned, it is not part of General Motors, and they exist to preserve Corvettes, the history of Corvettes, and then to act as a, a meeting liaison. And here it is. Da, 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 da. Nineteen fifty three Corvette chassis zero zero three cutaway. <clears throat> That's very cool. It's a good way to get to know the inside of your car. <laughs> you got one. Nineteen fifty seven airbox. the brakes fuel injection system. Hmm. This is cool. 65 Disney Autopia Mark 6 ride car. Autopia car. Another 63 split window. White on red. That looks really good. That's interesting. You can see how the vents are not venti. Like the 64 has the the actual vents there. This is because this is a 63 Z06. So 
so Z06 was an option package. Very cool. The only one 1983 Corvette. They ran out of time to get the 1983 Corvette validated for production. So they skipped it. Went 84. Oh. <laughs> I can't There's the sinkhole. That's pretty cool. And creepy. Nope. Really get a perspective as to how far the cars fell when they sank whole sunk. Eighty nine ZR one prototype. I wonder if those are like the only wheels in existence then. Yeah. Quite a ways. C5 launched in 1997. Z06 or are they similar? They're similar. The Z06s only came in a hard top though, which I would take one of those. and the Z06s have the vents on the side. Mm -hmm. This is a ZR1 C6. These things are animals. Looks an awful lot like the C7. Yeah. It looks as much like a C7 as it does a C6. Actually, now that you mention it, yeah. Like, look at the. Yep. It's very similar. Yeah, it's like they morph. <laughs> I like the window that they have on the C6 ZR1s to see the, the supercharger. I like the chrome wheels on them too. Does that make me old liking chrome wheels? It might. A new E-Ray. What do you think of the E-Ray? I don't, on paper, I don't really like these wheels, but in reality, I kind of do because it'd be easy to clean. How easy those would be to wash. They look a lot better in person, I can say that much. I want some break look like would it get on well those are carbon ceramics so they won't they won't really change much at all okay. it's the last of the manual transmissions I would actually like to find a 2019 with a manual transmission just just because of that because you know they're never gonna have another manual transmission car and I haven't driven a modern manual transmission you know the old one's super cool as a manual but the new ones would be cool too well, maybe cooler. I don't know. I mean, you can't beat the computer for shifting, but it's fun. It's all about the experience. Back out the 70s. That's kind of cool. Great white Corvette. Concept car. Designed by Bill Mitchell. It's quite cool. It's got the pearl pearlescent paint job on it. 1973 two-rotor Corvette. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Mid-engine. Two-speed automatic. Ooh, two-rotor. So does that mean it's a rotary? Maybe. And here's another cool one. It's a 1969 Astro. Part of a aerodynamic study to see how slippery the Corvette could be made. So this is cool. <clears throat> C8's the first generation that you could get a right-hand drive. So this is actually a right-hand drive C8 Corvette. Kind of cool if you're in Europe or Australia or somewhere that you drive on the other side of the road. 70th anniversary Z06. Yeah, carbon flash. It's got the red on the wheels. I love that painted uh, intake manifold. 670 horsepower flat plane crank. 
most powerful naturally aspirated production V8 ever. You want a cove, red with a white cove, or does it have to be? Preferably. White with red also works. So this would probably be my favorite year of C8 because C1. Sorry. <clears throat> I got C8 on the brain because I love those fins, alcoves, I think they call them, or coves. Um, and the 58 has the louvered hood and, of course, dual headlights. Preferably in red with the white cove because, you know, red and white is, you know, that's just the coolest there is. So, so after you're done in the museum, <laughs> you come into the store. And there's a lot. Found me a 70th anniversary hat that I think I need. I don't know. We'll see what Andrea says. I found a 70th anniversary hat. Okay. You know, and since red is a 70th car. Yes, she is. Yep. Okay. I'm going to walk away before I see what the bill is. <clears throat> but yeah, they've got a lot of Corvette stuff. Might have to buy a bag to take home. <laughs> so much fun though. So much fun. Oh, and somebody got their car already. Very cool. Museum delivery is what it's all about. Very cool. Very, 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 very cool. One day I'll get a Z06. One day. I love red stitching. I can't, can't deny it. Black with red stitching. I need a Z06 in my life. And you know what that is? It's gonna go on the vision board and we're gonna make it happen, guys. Doesn't mean I'm gonna get rid of any other cars. I might sell some trucks to get, uh, well, no matter what, I'm gonna sell trucks in order to get one. But that's what we're gonna do. It's just getting it ready for the museum delivery so that it's perfect for the new owner, which is pretty cool. Cause you know, when you pick it up from a car dealer, they don't give it that extra care, I don't think. I mean, depending on your dealer, maybe you got a really good dealer, but uh, you know, it's still just a car when you're at the car dealership, when you're at a GM store. But here, it's all about the Corvette. It just never gets old. Z06 sounds so good. Ask him to blip the throttle, but I'm pretty sure he won't because it's a customer car. But I'd totally do it if I could. I love that interior. I'm not gonna lie. Now I know what I gotta work for. Towards. Work towards. I just love this color. Alright, I gotta go. I gotta go. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe down below, and we'll see you in the next one. Because the more likes and subscribes and shares I get, then I can buy one. And then we can do cool stuff with it.